this video is the uh, second part of uh, uh, the video on uh, oblique incidence. Here uh, we will talk about the uh, uh, two cases. One is the case of parallel polarization and uh, the other is case for the uh, perpendicular polarization and uh, we will try to see what are the special angles of incidence which are evolved uh, which give some special characteristics. Now uh, in this case uh, the case of parallel polarization uh, or uh, also sometimes this is vertical polarization this year the electric field is parallel to the plane of incidence. Electric field is parallel to plane of incidence. So if I look uh, the electric field as a par parallel to the plane of incidence, what we observe is uh, the, the fields here like E fields, they are all in the plane of incidence. Being plane of incidence we call it a parallel polarization since the field is in the uh, plane of incidence. Now if the electric field is in the plane of incidence the magnetic field would be normal to it. That means in this case here the magnetic field is coming out of the paper so that E cross EI cross HI will make it PI. PI is the direction of uh, power flow into this uh, medium. So uh, we can see uh, similarly the reflected uh, ray here also uh, has uh, the electric field in the plane of incidence but the magnetic field is coming out of the paper. So to make it PR uh, as indicated here. Similarly uh, the similar case with the uh, reflected wave, electromagnetic fields are 90 degrees and uh, uh, there is a case of parallel polarization. Now we have to apply the boundary condition in this case. Applying the boundary condition what we observed here that EI is the electric field we can find the uh, component of the electric field in the direction of boundary. That means in this plane so this will give me the component EI cos theta I will be the component which is in uh, if it is x direction sin plus x direction. Now similarly the reflected wave would have its component ER cos theta I which is in the opposite direction here. Okay. So we can say EI cos theta I minus ER cos theta I equals to ET cos theta T this is a component. Uh, result component is in this direction ET cos theta T. So this is the equation relating the uh, boundary condition. If we solve this uh, relation here we get the value for ET over EI and uh, using the uh, general relation of uh, relating uh, reflection and transmission coefficients which we have seen earlier we can get a relation of uh, ER over EI. So this is the transmission coefficient, this is the reflection coefficient. So we have determined both uh, reflection and transmission coefficients and these are uh, very well uh, documented in uh, any book on uh, electromagnetics. So you can refer to these relations and if possible you try to remember these relations sometimes they may be useful uh, in solving some of the problems. Now what we observe here in the case of uh, say reflection coefficient if I equate the numerator to be 0 that means uh, there is no uh, reflected wave what we observe is that there is a particular angle at which there will not be any reflected wave uh, 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 coming out. So that angle is uh, tan theta is the angle of incidence at which there is no reflection tan theta I gives me the relation epsilon 2 over epsilon 1 under root and this is said to be a Bristol angle. This is a special case uh, where 
there is no reflection uh, of the waves. We will see uh, that how uh, uh, the wave uh, looks like uh, when there is uh, no reflection of the waves. Uh, we can uh, see here, this uh, part 1, uh, we can uh, further enhance it so that you can look, uh, see better. Uh, this uh, part here, uh, uh, we can uh, look here, this is here part 1. Uh, this, this I am referring to this figure. Uh, this is a medium 1 and this is a medium 2. And this is an incident wave uh, which is linearly polarized. That means the electric vector is in the direction of uh, incidence, in the direction of plane of incidence. In the plane of incidence and uh, the reflected ray is also polarized and it is, uh, uh, it is, uh, is uh, um, and there is no reflection uh, for this case since the angle of incidence here is theta b. So parallel polarized wave incident at theta b does not have any reflection here. But I uh, will see the other case here. Uh, if we take uh, a case of a uh, unpolarized wave incident here as being indicated here, the unpolarized wave when it is incident on the surface of the dielectric, uh, there is a partially polarized wave comes out as a reflected wave, but there is a uh, uh, polarization, there is a polarized wave which is reflected here. The reflected wave is, is here linearly polarized, so sometimes this angle also is being set as the polarizing angle because that, that pressure's angle, uh, the reflected wave turns out to be uh, polarized wave. So, but uh, this is the case when there is a unpolarized wave incident. A circularly polarized wave also, if it is incident, would also give uh, uh, the reflected component. So, these are some very special and important cases. Now, the second case which we are supposed to consider is perpendicular polarization. In the case of perpendicular polarization, what we observe here is that uh, uh, this uh, magnetic field in the plane of incidence, but electric field is normal to the plane of incidence. But we have to again see that what is the direction of electric field to make uh, the power flow in the direction PI being indicated here. Then it has to be, uh, E has to be into the plane of paper. So this is being indicated here, it has to be in the plane of the paper. And similarly, the, uh, uh, the E field for the reflected as well as the transmitted wave would also be into the plane of the paper. Now, uh, this is uh, the case for perpendicular polarization and uh, we can determine here, uh, uh, since H is in the plane of incident, uh, we apply the boundary condition, after boundary, applying the boundary condition, uh, we observe the relation for reflection coefficient and this is the equation for the reflection coefficient. If you possible, you can remember this relation for the reflection coefficient. And uh, please note that uh, there is no existence of uh, Brister angle here. Uh, always the wave is uh, reflected. So the Brister angle ang occurs only in uh, the case of uh, uh, in the case of parallel polarization. There is no Brister angle for the other case. Thank you.